Hello friends, today we're going to look at Jack's Pacific World of Nintendo figure. It's Peppy Hare from Star Fox. Do a barrel roll! So this is Peppy Hare based specifically on his art for Star Fox 64 3D. And when it comes to the sculpt, I think Jack's pretty much nailed it. I really like the details on the boots especially. I mean, that's just part of the design when it comes to the sculpt. My only complaint with the sculpt is... Those teeth there, well, they're not teeth, they're a single tooth. There's no sculpted line separating the buck teeth. It looks like one giant tooth coming out of his face. It's, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be the case, right, Jax? Also, this line here is not in his official artwork, his concept art, whatever you want to call it. But you expect a bunny rabbit to have that. So I'm glad Jax sculpted it there, connecting his nose to his mouth. The ears up top are separate rubbery piece so they won't break off. Jax is being real good about making these kid-friendly figures. And the paint overall is pretty great. I mean, it's pretty plain on the back, obviously. I, I like the black details they added to the boots there. It really helps bring out all the little details in the boots. They're not amputees, guys. These are boots. I, I don't like the belt buckles paint. I mean, this is supposed to be silver, and they went with a gray. But worse than that, if you focus on it, there are these little chips in the corners of the belt buckle that I don't know if that's like a defect or if it's supposed to look worn, but it doesn't look quite good. And then the zipper here... The zipper strangely like goes up above the red vest into this black part, which I'm not sure if that's the same piece, but if the zipper's supposed to unzip the black part too, shouldn't it go all the way to the top and then into the scarf? Yeah, whatever. The big complaint I have with the paint is these blue things. In his concept art, the cuffs are a slightly different color than the rest of the jacket, but I thought that was because the jacket was like turned inside out at the cuffs. I mean, if this is the inside color of the jacket, then why isn't all this blue jacks? But overall, the paint's great. ID decals look real nice. So just like the back of the packaging indicates, Peppy's got 12 points of articulation. A swivel head, swivel waist. There's no tail up there because he has a coat and so you never see the tail. It doesn't matter. He's got hinge and swivel shoulders, hinge and swivel elbows, nothing at the wrists. His hips are on a ball joint, but honestly, they're kind of useless. They don't go back and forth like that much. He's got these hinge and swivel ball knee things but man they barely bend and then he's got hinged ankles pretty good articulation but kind of useless below the waist a little bit this was peppy in his packaging it's got world of nintendo logo up there and i really like how it's got fox's artwork cut out instead of just having it on there in a normal square shape it's pretty cool on the back there's other figures in the way I want that red link so bad and the rest of these guys are kind of cool too and it says he's got 12 points of articulation, so we'll open this guy up and see how true that is. Well, I guess you already saw it, because I usually put the packaging later, because packaging's boring. So the figure in the tray doesn't just come out. He's got a couple of twist-type thingies. Broke one. And now I broke two. Yay! The only accessory Peppy comes with is this. It's a supply box from Star Fox 64, and it looks like it did in Star Fox 64 3D, because in the original, it looked pretty much the same as this. It just wasn't as much of a gap between all the little S's. S's, does that stand for supply or Star Fox? I don't know, but there's not really much you can do with that accessory. It's not a mystery box accessory like, like this guy was. This came with Fox and Falco originally, and wouldn't it have been cool if these looked like that? But I guess they didn't do that, because they were going to give you this as an accessory later, maybe. Sending supplies. Wouldn't it be cool if these things were the crates in Smash Bros? Or at least on Star Fox stages? I think that'd be pretty cool. Scale time, Peppy stands just a hair under four and a half inches tall. Get it? A hair? <laughs> Here he is with his teammate Fox. You'd think Peppy'd be the tall one because he's older than Fox, but, well, I mean, foxes are bigger than hares in real life. I don't know, we never really see him out of the cockpit, so it doesn't matter, I guess. Take care of the guy behind me, Fox! I saw my life flash before my eyes! And here are those figures next to Batman and Spider-Man. They're too small to be people, but too big to be animals. Pretty pretty weird size, but they're pretty weird characters in the game, so whatever. So Peppy's a pretty good figure for what he is, a mass market, kid-friendly line. And his accessory is pretty cool, even though it's kind of... I mean, he can't do much with it. It would be really cool if you released an R-Wing or something, Jack, so then we can have the R-Wing shoot the box and uh, R-Wing shoot the wolfen. I want an R-Wing and a wolfen. On our wing that this guy will fit into. I feel like this accessory also should have come with probably like Rob 64 or something. But, I mean, if you already got Fox and Falco, who I don't, so that makes you lucky, you're going to get Peppy, and then eventually they're going to make you get Slippy. That's why they're releasing Slippy last. But in the meantime, 
Peppy's awesome. So go out and get him, friends. Peace out.